That's f holy shit. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You know there are times when I find myself alone at night and my mind starts to wander. Nyctophobia, a fear of the dark, is a condition where the shadows become more than just an absence of light. They become a canvas for the imagination to paint its most haunting scenes. And sometimes, when I find myself alone in the dark, surrounded by shadows that seem to breathe, the hair on my skin stands up, as goosebumps form, and the body chills, put me on high alert. It's in those moments, that the boundaries between what's real, and what is just in my head, blurs, creating a thrilling dance between the reality and imagination. Oh my God, so she's holding that. And in those moments, the paranormal, the unexplained, becomes oh, even more scarier. Oh my God. To think that lingering spirits from another time might walk besides me, their footsteps echoing through the silence. Or monsters, cryptids, creatures of legend might lurk just beyond the edge of perception. The unknown becomes a playground for the imagination, a place where reality and mystery dance a delicate tango. Thanks again for tuning in to Feardom TV where we take a look at the bizarre, creepy, and unexplained things making their rounds on the web. Just want to wish everyone, happy holidays. And I am thankful for your support, comments, and subscription. This is something new. This is. This just keeps getting more fucked up every day. See that car out there? There's a white car parked right there. Okay, I'm not crazy. There it is. White car parking lot. Okay. There it is. I'm not fucking nuts. It should be parked right there. Right there. <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Crazy. Yeah. There it is. Same fucking spot. Gone. What the fuck is going on here? This is
This makes no sense. No sense at all. In this video from the YouTube channel Zeal, an unexplained and mysterious event is captured on a security camera in Diyarbakir, Turkey. The footage shows a well-lit but deserted street late at night. Initially, it appears as though a person is crossing the road in the center, but the way this entity moves is highly unnatural. After a few moments, it rises off the ground and flies out of the camera's field of view. It then quickly returns to circle the road once more. The nature of this supernatural entity remains a mystery. What are your thoughts on this bizarre occurrence? Amy? Amy? In this spine-chilling video from Mindseed TV, Casey and Colton embark on an investigation in a haunted house in Hinsdale, known for its dark past and paranormal occurrences. Against warnings, Casey opens a display case containing a doll with an eerie history, and strange events unfold. There's this one specific display case with a doll in it, glass enclosure, magnetic latch, and Casey says, it says do not open, do not touch. Oh, this is the section earlier that was mentioned uh, with this kind of Annabelle type doll in the case. Mm -hmm. it says, uh, do not open or touch management. Thank you. Hmm. What's it say? Yeah, there was like a couple fires here and I guess the, the dolls made it out. Or... Let's see what this doll looks like. It's missing an eyeball. There was like two dolls inside of it. One of them had like a, a missing eye. It's a trip. You think I should have? Him being him, he decides to open the door. I don't think that was a good idea. I was advising against it. You can even hear me on camera saying, I don't know, man, at your own risk. I mean, at, at your own risk. It is. Instantly, I kind of felt like I probably shouldn't have done that. I think that I was doing it more for, for curiosity's sake and also like the viewer's sake. I said, all right, you know, nobody, nobody's supposed to touch this doll. So I'm going to go ahead and touch it right now to show people that, you know, maybe this isn't a thing. Is anything attached to this item? Would you be willing to communicate with us tonight? In a respectful manner. Okay. Well, that's that. If, you see, if you see my eyes roll to the back of my head try at it, any point. Try it, try it with the EMF detector. My well, eyes, yeah, good idea too, huh? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. My hand feels weird. Like within two minutes, my hand started cramping, which was very, very odd. Yeah, like after cramping, touching it, like crampy. Yeah, that's, that's. I mean, like, like sore. Hmm. Dead ass. Interesting. Hundred percent. Like from my pinky to my thumb, kind of sore. I didn't feel any pain in it, 
throughout the day earlier, but after I touched the doll, I started cramping up, which I found kind of weird. That's weird. All right, we'll see how it changes as we go. Yeah. That's also, weird. I noticed that there are some trigger objects in here. Like, oh yeah, more wind chimes. As they explore, unexplainable phenomena occur, including the doll moving and the case mysteriously reopening. The investigators experience discomfort and hear unsettling noises. Can you make that ghost start moving? It's 100% still right now. If you start moving that, if you could rotate that ghost, that would be incredible if you could show us that you're here right now. Even the slightest little movement or turn would indicate that you're present with us. Also, Hundred dollars and a pack of cigarettes to anybody in this room that can move that ghost. <laughs> a pack of cigarettes. Shh. You hear like footsteps. Yeah, you heard that right. Just now. If that's you making noise upstairs, can you do it again? Can you do it down here? Hello, hello. Is anybody here with us? Can you? presence be known As we had entered the living room, I noticed something absolutely horrifying. Look at this. That's not good. No, come here, look at this. I'm seeing it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. It's not just open, it's like fucking hanging out. I looked across the living room and I saw the case that the doll was in was actually open now. Look at this. No, come here, look at this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm 100% positive that I closed the case. Looking at it, it's opened and the doll was moved. 
was that close when I got it? It was 100% close. I closed it. And that doll was way further back in there, bro. I have goosebumps all over my body. Right now. Oh, my whole it feels like I've been some needles sticking in my arms. I feel like I feel like I should close it, right? That shit was all the way up. Colton, blindfolded and alone, communicates with potential spirits, and eerie incidents continue. Beyond. As I sit there, I'm extremely uneasy. I almost like can't sit still. I feel like something's gonna touch me or something's gonna pull on me. And I started hearing really clear words coming through the spirit box. Are you upset that Colton is in there right now by himself? Maybe so. What is keeping you here? What is keeping you attached to this home? Distress. Is there more than one spirit present here? Oh, yes. How many? Can you give me a direct number? Is there more than one spirit present here? Oh, yes. How many? Can you give me a direct number? The video raises the question, did they capture genuine paranormal activity, or is it a carefully orchestrated hoax? Share your thoughts on this haunting exploration in the comments below. Safe is still here. Creepy things hidden in photos. So oh, Ada hubungan apa kamu dengan pria tadi? Stop rolling. Teman-teman ya. Jelas ya. Jelas ya teman-teman. Stop dulu alasnya. Stop dulu. Hmm, saya udah udah mentok zoomnya teman-teman ya. La sangre de Cristo me cura. Hola hola. Hola. Hola hola. Estás acá? ¿Dónde estás? Se prenden las luces. Está jugando con la llave. ¿Ah? Está jugando con la llave. ¿Ah? Necesito otra prueba. Necesito otra prueba. Ay, marica. Tangerine, take the goddamn jello. Jello, mama. You don't want it? Take it. Take it. Take it, Daily. Take the jello. Take, take the jello. Take the goddamn. In Donnie Drunkard's YouTube Chronicles, 
his home becomes a stage for eerie encounters. Over two years, strange events unfold. A fleeting black mass materializes. I heard you. You are not welcome here. Another clip reveals a shadowy figure entering and departing his bedroom, captured by a fixed camera upstairs. You saw him too. You saw that too, eh? St standing about this tall. Rounded. It was a see-through black, just mass. <laughs> it was there for 10, 15 seconds when I opened up my eyes. As I went to get my phone to record, it just went zip, zip, it off. The basement holds its own mysteries, with a camcorder capturing a dark flying entity, intensifying the chilling narrative. Donnie and his dog, Terry, navigate the blurred line between the known and unknown, leaving viewers to ponder the nature of these unexplained phenomena. And the question lingers, what forces lurk within Donnie's home, and can these encounters be deciphered, or do they remain enigmatic in the realm of the supernatural? The mysteries persist, captivating Donnie's audience. What do you think of these paranormal encounters? I don't know that one. Alexa! Alexa! Tell me a bedtime story! Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, tell me a horror story! Did you hear that? Alexa, turn it off. Alexa, stop. Alexa, turn off. Alexa, is that creepy? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. Alexa, play. Oh, that shit is so good. It's not gonna stop. Alexa, stop! 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 Alexa, Alexa, stop. Oh. <laughs> 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 